do you stay on fire for God? So first, magbabasa po muna ko sa Romans chapter 12, verses 11 and 12. In verse 11, it says, Never let the fire in your heart go out. Keep it alive and serve the Lord. In verse 12, when you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. So today, I will be sharing two keys to staying on fire for God. So these are the things na natutunan ko lang din sa mga leaders ko and which I think are very, very important if we really want that fire in our hearts to burn passionately for God even during tough times. Kung nasubukan na ninyong mag-camping sa forest or somewhere in the middle of the woods, the last thing that you want to happen in the evening is for the fire to go out. So, sabi sa nabasa ko, in one way or another, we believers are like campers in the dark in need of the light and warmth of a heart steadily on fire for God. So, what do we do? Number one, stick to the basics. So, kahit gaano na tayo katagal ng Christiano or kahit gaano na tayo kalalim sa pananampalataya, no one ever out grows the basics of God's Word and prayer. Ang sabi nga sa Psalm chapter 100 and 119 verse 105, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So, communication with God is of vital importance to keeping that passion for Him burning. Ang sabi nga, if you want to stay close to God, just talk to Him. The primary way that we communicate with God is through prayer. And the primary way He speaks to us is through His Word. So kahit gaano man kalayo ang marating natin, never forget to always stick to the basics. Kung ang number one ay stick to the basics, ang number two naman ay stick with the codes. Kapag ang isang uling hiniwalay sa isang tumpok ng mga uling na nagbabaga, nagiging malamig siya. So, Christians also experience the same thing. Kaya, importante that we always connect with those people who are on fire for God. When we stay within encouragement, discipleship that come through fellowship, we remain on fire for God. Yun lang, dahil nasa gitna tayo ng pandemic, medyo challenging ito. But we have great technologies to connect with our leaders, our pastors, our disciples, no? and yung mga friends natin na pwede makapag-encourage sa atin. And nowadays, napakahalaga ng internet dahil sa mga nag-online classes, sa mga nag-work from home, at minsan we worry about our internet connection. No? But the question is, how is your connection with God? If you're still watching until here, thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you again next time. Have a nice day and...